today we are going to be making some experimental cages with these to use for experiments that are needed with the mosquitoes. So to do that, we have takeout containers. These are for soup. We also have small ones. So this is a full cage and we have small ones that are this size, that are a half cage. About 100 to 150 mosquitoes go in here and about 250 to 300 go into one of those. Um, and we also have the lids. So to prepare these, you cut the rest of the lid out with a box cutter and leave a little space so people can write on it. And to prepare this, you cut a little square into the side so you can put the mosquitoes in through there and take them out through there. Then we also use netting, which is just tool from a fabric store. It's stored over here and you cut the netting into squares so that they're, they fit over the tops of the cages. Um, and that's how the mosquitoes feed so that it acts like the net on the metal cages. Um, and so then I'm gonna show you how to construct them. To make the cages, you'll also need pieces of dental dam and rubber bands. These are both kept in the fridge in this room. The dental dam comes in square sheets that are the size of this container and then you cut them into smaller squares so that they're this big so that they fit over the opening on the container. And you cut a little slit down the middle of each one that's about an inch big so that you can poke the utensils through to insert mosquitoes into the cage or take them back out. So to do this, you need this tape. It's like super sticky tape. It's in the drawer on the bench and you need six pieces of tape per cage. So I'm just gonna cut six now. And I always just attach them to the bench so that they're easy to grab. And you want them to be about this long. Some can be a little shorter or a little longer. This is what will anchor the dental dam pieces to the takeout box cage. Okay. And the rubber band is to keep the netting on the top. You grab a piece of netting. We make them two ply so that there's actually two pieces of tool here so that the mosquitoes definitely can't get through it. Sometimes they can if it's just one. So you lay that over the top. You can see the square is plenty big enough to fit over this. You loop the little rubber band over. And then I just pull on the sides of it to move the rubber band up to the top rim to make sure that the netting is tight at the top. So once you've got the rubber band up at the top right here, you secure it again with the lid. And then I just give it a few more pulls to make sure it's okay. And then you cut all the excess off so it's not in the way. is ready for the dental dam pieces. So you need two per cage. And to do this, you lay it one either direction. It doesn't matter which way the slit's facing. They just have to be facing opposite directions at the end. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape on the top of this one to secure it. Make sure it's stuck well. And then you're gonna tape again at the bottom. Make sure the dental dam's flat and not gappy. Um, so as you can see, the slit is horizontal. So then this one will be vertical to go over top of it. To make a cross section. And then you Tape the opposite sides that you didn't tape before. And then with 
your final two pieces of tape, you just retape the tops and bottoms to make sure everything is super secure. And then you have the little hole where you can stick instruments in, but that they can't fly back out of. And you have the net on the top to feed them with the mice or sugar pads. And then this is ready for mosquitoes. So then I'm gonna do this three more times for the cages we need today. Okay, so now that we have all our experimental cages ready and made, we can put the mosquitoes in them. So to do that, I fill this tiny glass bottle with hot water and that attracts the mosquitoes to the top net. Um, so then you can use this to suck them into. So you put this plastic piece through the front net and suck them up. You put this mouthpiece in your mouth. This is a label for me. We have a bunch of them, so you can clean them and use them for whoever needs it. So you put it in your mouth, and then you suck them up into the tube. And then that's how you put them in the cage, because the tube fits into the little square you made that you can just blow them back into this cage. So. Untie the front net, shake it off so that the mosquitoes aren't right around it. So now you can see the plastic pieces and the metal cage.
about 300 adult mosquitoes in each of these three cages. And then if you don't need this cage anymore, you just put it in the freezer to freeze them, and then you're all set.